So I did my project on tournament graphs. So a tournament is a directed graph obtained by assigning a direction for each edge an undirected completed graph. It is directed in every um, in which every pair of vertices is connected by a single directed edge. So a directed graph is a set of nodes connected by an edge and an undirected completed graph is in one in which edge, edges have no orientation. So any tournament on an infinite number of n vertices contains a Hamilton path. Um, a Hamilton path is proven by induction. So all right here is all about induction. It kind of gets a little confusing, but if it, it works through, then this applies that a strongly connected tournament has a Hamilton cycle. Um, to create a tournament, you can start with KN, and which is the completed graph, and N vertices, then change each edge into an arc by putting an arbitrary direction on it. Um, these, gra these are called tournaments because they can be used to describe the results of a tournament in which every player plays against every other player, and there's no, tie there's no ties allowed. Um, the term tournament also refers to an arrangement by which teams or players play against certain other teams or players in order to determine who is best, which I just kind of said about be is before. Um, so for end node tournaments, graphs that correspond to a tournament in which each member of a group of n players play all other n minus one players and each result in a win for one player and a loss for another. So, um, Davis and Haray, I don't know how to say his last name, but um, it's obtained by a formula of these. Um, numerous as a function uses the polyenumeration theorem. Um, this gets a little hectic too, but um, this formula right here, so for C pi, the number of group elements is class of pi and Sn, and so PK is the number of cycles of length is just just joint cycle representation of a member of the class is defined by this. So this is how you find the scoring, not the scoring of it, but how to like the whole thing, I guess. So um, an example, um, in a cup tournament of teams n equals 2 to the k, teams play pairwise in a sequence of 1 half to the k minus 1 finals. And then you have one eighth finals, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals, with winners from each round playing otherwise, playing other winners in the next round, and losers being eliminated. So there's a whole scoring with this. Um, a sequence can be associated with every tournament, getting the set of scores that would be obtained by the players in a tournament, which a win counts as one point and a loss, each loss counting as zero points. It's like the pairwise count. Um, pairwise comparison that we did in class. So the score sequence of a given tournament is obtained from a set of out degrees sorted in monotonic non-decreasing order. So for N2 you get O and 1. And then for N3 you get those those. So some tournaments can be transitive which A implies B and B implies C which A then A implies C. Um, the following statements are equivalent for a tournament on the n vertices, um, a tournament is transitive, it's a asolytic, um, it does not contain a cycle of length of 3, the, store se the score sequence of set of out degrees of t is one, is 0, 1, 2, all the way to n minus 1, and it has exactly one Hamilton path, and every tournament on n vertices ha has a transitive subordinate on log 2 n vertices. Um, this guy, Londa, Lond, I don't know how to say his last name, sorry. Um, he has a scoring sequence for integers. So as you can see here, this formula right here help, will help you figure out the scoring with it. It's again messy. Alright, so for example, these are, ex these are examples of 
tournament graphs. So the number of distinct score sequence of 2 are 1, 1, 2, 4, 9, 22, 59, 67. And the un unique possible score sequences for n equals 2 or 0 and 1. So you score from the out degrees. So this one has 1, this has 1. No, this has 1, this has 2, and this has 0. So that's where you get 1, 2, and 0. Um, for example, here, this turn this graph, so you have 1, 1, 2, 4, and then 3, 3. You do it in non-decreasing order, so you go 1 to 4. And this one is an example of a tor an 8 tournament transitive graph. And so, like, you can see how it is. So 5 goes to 8, and the whole thing. Where tournament graphs are used in most sport tournaments, such as in most in most sport tournaments, such as red robin style and single eliminations, it's also used in elections and phone calls to certain people. Like you can make a tournament graph from calling different people. And if you want, you can get more information. Um, this first one is about um, a student from Lehigh wrote it. It's about more details about classifications of tournaments and the isolated tournament and then the video is pr more about proving the induction we get you a little more messy and those are my sources thanks